What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Today's video is going to be another installment in how to be productive with Compass. So one of the things that I use most in Compass is workspaces. So what are workspaces? Well, as you can see here, this is my primary desktop. You could think of it as workspace number one. I prefer four workspaces. That's plenty for me. Uh, any more than that is a little bit much, um, but you can configure it however you like. So I uh, can access my workspaces a number of ways. I can slide my mouse cursor to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, and now you've got a nice workspace overview, or I have a keyboard shortcut set up, my super key and then the letter E. Super key and E will also activate that as well. Now, how can these workspaces obviously work into your day-to-day -day workflow and make you more productive? Well, let's, let's find out. So we'll open up a few windows that I have open on a regular basis. My web browser, maybe XChat, VLC, and OpenShot. These are some applications that I have open all the time. So let's, let's get these things all sized up appropriately. Okay, so I may be rendering a video in OpenShot, listening to some music in VLC, chatting with some people over here in IRC, um, using XChat, and then maybe browsing the web or checking out what's going on with Twitter, so on and so forth. So let's figure out how to get these things a little bit more organized, okay? So if I go to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen here with my cursor, I can just drag these particular windows um, over to the appropriate workspace that I would like them. Okay, so XChat. I may want to have my uh, IRC going over here. I may want to be rendering and editing a video here. And down here, I may want to have some music playing. And on my main workspace, I may just want to be browsing the web or... Maybe I'll be using the file manager and um, you know browsing the file system for something. So let's use one of the other tips that we covered in our last video, the window snapping, by moving the file manager or Thunar to the right-hand corner of the screen. We'll do that by holding Control and Alt down on our keyboard and hitting the number 6 button. And then Google Chromium, same thing on the left, Control Alt 4. Okay. So now I've got these two windows taking up exactly half the screen, okay? And I can now jump to any one of these other applications anytime I like. Now, OpenShot may take a while to render out a video, depending on how long that video is and what you've done to it. So there's really no need to keep it on my primary desktop, taking up space um, and just kind of getting in the way. IRC chat, depending on who's in there and when and, and who you're talking to and how often, you know, that can you know, stay over on its own workspace. The icon down here will actually notify me if I've been specifically mentioned in IRC. So I can, you know, quickly come down and, and respond. And then of course, you know, my music. Now, you can control VLC by uh, the, the little uh, applet up here, or I can just come down to its workspace and control the music. This helps me really focus on whatever it is that I'm doing it allows me to take advantage of multiple desktops to bring uh, certain applications um, kind of into focus and helps me focus on one thing at a time and I get more work done that way. So this is just one uh, of uh, many, many examples where Compass can make, you, can make you more productive. So how do you set some of these things up? Well, let's go into settings and Compass config settings manager. Now, anytime you're looking for something, you can use this filter. Now the multiple uh, workspaces is controlled by Expo. So we'll just type in Expo. Now the double click time, it, basically what that uh, option allows you to do is tweak the amount of time it takes for a, uh, a click on the appropriate workspace to register for you to select it. I like things pretty quick and instant. So I set mine to as fast as it can go and you, you can uh, double click with the left mouse or just a single click with the right mouse will select your workspace. You can set an Expo Edge. For me, just click the button and I set the bottom right hand corner. Okay, you can select multiple edges. You deselect them by clicking on uh, the highlighted area once and select them by clicking on it again. Okay, now I also have a key bind, which again, mine is Super and E. Super and E will activate the multiple workspaces overview. And that's it, guys. That's how simple it is to set up multiple workspaces 
using Compass. Again, just another uh, way that Compass can make you more productive. Again, it's not all about wobbly windows and it's not all about a desktop cube. There's a lot of things that Compass can do that makes you more productive and can fit in your day-to-day -day workflow. I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, uh, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. If this video helped you, the thumbs up helps me. And uh, until next time, we will see you guys later.